I'm going to show you how to replace the steering gears on a John Deere LA145 lawn tractor. As you can see when I turn the steering wheel, the tires do not turn. On further investigation, I find that the steering sector gear and the pinion gear are stripped and need to be replaced. If you go to a dealer, you can ask them to print you off an explosion diagram. It is extremely helpful. For easy access to the gears, remove the mowing deck. Then raise the front end of the mower and secure into place with jack stands. Find the old pinion gear and hold it steady with a pipe wrench. Using a socket wrench, remove the nut that holds it in place. You may need to use a flathead screwdriver to pry the old pinion gear off. This would be a good time to remove the bushing using the same screwdriver. Just simply pry it out. Now remove the plate. It is held with four screws, two screws on each side. You must also remove the brake lever rod. Remove the clip with a flathead screwdriver. This frees the rod to be removed. It may take some effort to remove this rod due to obstacles. But once the rod is free, you can now remove the plate screws. Once all four plate screws have been removed, the plate will drop down. This will allow access to the drag link nuts that need to be removed. It's a good idea to use a bungee cord to hold the plate up. You do not want the rod ends to pop out of their sockets. With a wrench and socket, remove both nuts that hold the plate on to the ends of the drag link. Once these nuts have been removed, the plate should come right off. To release the steering sector gear from the plate, use your wrench and socket to release the slot bolt and the pivot bolt. Once these bolts are removed, the old steering sector gear comes right off. The new steering sector gear can now be installed. Make sure the teeth are bent away from the plate when installing. Simply reinstall in the reverse order that you took them off. Check the steering sector gear by pivoting it back and forth. It should move freely. Return the plate back underneath the mower. Send the drag link bolts back to their original position. Tighten the nuts very well using a wrench and socket. At this point, it's important to make sure the wheels are turned in the straight position. Lift the plate back up to the frame, making sure the screw holes are aligned. Return all four screws to the plate, tightening very well.
The bungee can now be safely removed. You can now take the new bushing and install by sliding over the end of the steering rod. Seat the bushing into place with the aid of a large socket and a hammer. Lightly tap until it's seated. You can now install the pinion gear by sliding it on the end of the steering rod. It should fit snugly like a puzzle within the teeth of the steering sector gear. You may need a hammer to lightly tap it into place. Return the pinion gear nut to the end and tighten very well. Next, reinstall the brake lever rod. Securing it in place with the clip. The mower can now be taken off the jack. Test the steering by turning the wheel back and forth. It should turn the wheels with ease. And finally, reinstall the mowing deck and you're ready to mow.